Hello, David Starr here with another video on the Azure Marketplace SaaS Accelerator. This video focuses on how publishers can manually emit metered billing events from within the publisher portal. Now for a general walkthrough of the features of the SaaS Accelerator, please see the first video in the series, a SaaS Accelerator hands-on tour. If you haven't seen that video, I suggest you watch it before moving forward with this one. We're going to start in Partner Center where we have created an offer. Our offer is named SAS Accelerator 2. I'm going to take a look at the gold plan of the offer and its pricing and availability. Here we can see that we have a monthly billing term. It's zero dollars as are all costs in this example it is a demo and i don't want to be charged for giving a demo so all of our prices happen to be zero we've defined three dimensions that may be invoked as a metered billing event and what do i mean by that from your SaaS solution you may call one of these dimensions let's say the scan one page and Let's assume that the price per unit would be one cent to scan a page. The scenario here being that I'm an optical character recognition company. I scan handwritten notes and write them back to an electronic medical record. So it might be a penny to do the initial scan. It might be 10 cents to write back to the EMR. Now included in our monthly fee is 10,000 scans, 1,000 writes. But you'll notice that our setup dimension has zero monthly quantity included in the base. Now this is because we would only call it once. And the reason we have this dimension is because we may define it at $25,000 as an example for the setup costs of our SaaS offer. Now in this case, we only want to invoke this meter or this dimension one time. And so let's look at how to do that using the SAS Accelerator Publisher Portal. Here we are at the homepage for our SAS Accelerator Administration Portal. Now, in order to emit this meter that we're talking about, we're gonna head over to our subscriptions. You can see that our top subscription just came in from a customer and is currently pending activation. In order to emit a meter for a subscription, it must be in the subscribed state, which kind of makes sense. Let's head over to our new subscription and activate it. So we'll go ahead and call activate on this subscription thereby putting it into the subscribed state. Now we'll go back to our subscription list and see that indeed it is subscribed. From here, now that it is in the subscribed state, we get a new menu choice called Manage Usage. This allows us to select a dimension that we've defined in Partner Center. In this case, we're gonna choose our setup fee. And remember, it costs $25,000 to set up our product for the customer so we want to charge them only one unit for this service emit the meter by clicking the record usage button and we can see in the resulting message and it's json it, expect to see changes on this page that'll make it look a little nicer but in the interim we know that we were successful first of all we can look at the json that was sent to the billing API, and we can look at the response that we received back. Most importantly, we look at the status code, which in this case was accepted. Now, if you try and do this more than one time straight away, it won't accept the next post. And that's because we can only admit a metered billing event at most once every hour. So you can see that we tried again, right after our first metering event occurred and we got a conflict. This is expected behavior. So this was a quick tour of how publishers can use the SAS Accelerator portal to emit metered billing events manually. That is, we can emit metering events without actually integrating 
into the SaaS billing APIs with our solution. Thanks very much and look us up at aka.ms slash mastering the marketplace.